Okay, so now we've come to really the fourth solo in the song, which is a slide guitar solo. And um, this slide part is performed uh, on the album by on a 12-string electric guitar. So, you know, there's not a lot of guitar players that have those laying around, me included. So, um, anyway, so that's going to, uh, you, you'll see, a, a, you'll hear a lot of the notes when you're, uh, when you're playing them on the recording, there's a high octave above it as well, and that's that extra, uh, you know, that adjacent string that's an octave higher, like on most 12 strings, that's ringing out. So we're going to play it kind of like he does, and um, uh, we'll give you a kind of a, a sense of, uh, that'll let you know why it won't sound exactly like the recording unless you have yourself a 12-string guitar, 12-string um, electric. But um, we're still going to go through it anyway. So we're going to start here. At the 14th fret, remember on the slide, you need to be directly over the fret, not in between the frets, directly over the fret. And you got to use your ear a lot to stay in tune. So we're going to be at the 14th fret here on the fourth string. And you're going to slide it down. Now that starts a solo. Now uh, what you're hearing on the record is that note and the octave of that um, coming together. Now when he gets down to the bottom, the movement of the slide created both of these notes being the, the, the two on the fourth string and the um, uh, second string kind of being heard together just, the, just slightly. Uh, so you may hear that note in there too at the end of the slide. Then we start the actual, so that just started with that big and then we come up with this note. So that's sliding, still on the fourth string, sliding from four, four up to 11. Then I'll hit 11 and slide it up to 14, still on the fourth string. And then we come over to the third string at the ninth fret and slide up to 11. And then come over and pick the 11 on the fourth string. So we went. So all together so far. Okay. Now, still at the 11th fret, we're going to hyper pick this. We're going to pick the um, the fourth string with the pick, and then use your middle finger on your right hand to pick the uh, second string. You're going to pick those two together both and the slide will be at the 11th fret across both strings and you're going to pick it then slide the slide up to the 14th fret okay and we're going to end it with this little phrase not that's the sliding from 9 up to 11 back down to 9 this is on the third string here. So we got this. And then slide from 11 to 13. Then 11, 9, back to 11. And slide that 11 all the way down. So we got this. So all those were just kind of dancing around these three notes, 19, uh, 9, 11, and 13 on the third string. Okay, so the whole solo, slide solo. All right, so now let's get to the uh, kind of main solo here, and we're at the this is when the wah pedal starts coming in. So we got the octave shape at 9 on the 3rd string and then the 12 on the 1st string. Play those. Make sure you're muting that 2nd string with the bottom of the 1st finger. Then slide up 2 frets. Up 2 more frets. Then up 3 frets. So the 1st finger goes from the 9 to 11 to 13 to 16. Okay, 
Then we come and do this 11th whole step bend. A lot of wah pedal here, so I'm not going to do it with the wah pedal so you can actually hear the inflections better in the guitar. Uh, whole step bend at the 11th fret, third string, 9 on the first, and then 12, and then back on the second and do that again. So look at this. And then come up and end that little lick on the ninth fret on the first string. And then do that same lick we did before, the whole step nine, uh, bend at the 11th fret, then play nine across the second and then first string. Okay, so we got this. Then just come picking down, 10, I mean, I'm sorry, 12, 9, then 11, 9 on the 3rd, over to 11 on the 4th, then come back up to the 9, and then the 11, and do a whole step bend on the 11. So after this, 12, 9, 11, 9 on the 3rd, 11 on the 4th, back to 9, 11, Okay, then the next phrase is going to be So that's simply going to be a slow whole step bend at the 12th fret on the 2nd string then pick 9th fret, 1st string then after those first two notes we're going to have this little sequence that he plays three times it's a sequence of five notes we're going to play 12th fret on the 2nd, 9 on the 1st, 11 on the 1st, back down to 9, and then come over and play 9 on the 2nd. So that's 5 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do those 5 notes 3 times in a row. So we got this. Okay, then we, um, we come back and do a slight bend on this 12th fret, uh, back to the 9, then pick 12, 9, then 11, 9, and end the run there. And then we have the very ending of this little section, which is, which is just a 11, 9th fret, unison bend the 9th fret with your 12th finger at the 2nd uh, string I mean I'm sorry, the 12th fret on the 2nd string with your 3rd finger and then move up 2 frets and do the same alright, then we have this little chord work section which kind of goes back to our clean sound and we're going to start here with the bar across uh, the 9th fret the 1st, the 2nd, 3rd and 4th strings and you're going to have your 3rd finger at the 11th fret So. Keep that third finger down, and then release it, okay? Then we're going to come back to this, kind of the shape we did in the beginning, but he just playing the four top string, the first, second, third, and fourth string. So we're going to do this bar across the second, seventh fret of the first and second string, and then the third fret of the eighth, and then the, I mean, third string of the eighth fret, and then the ninth fret on the fourth string. You're going to slide into the shape. Kind of slide from a step or two down, and then we're gonna have that little pinky come down. Just add to that top melody note there, then of the ninth fret on the first string, and then slide into the five, the same chord shape. Okay, and now we're gonna take as soon as we get this five hit a couple times. We're gonna do this. Let's just take these two notes that you had there, then the 5 and 6 on the 2nd and 3rd string, slide, slide them to 8 and 9, and then slide them up two more frets. So, so far I got this. Okay, and then we go through the same chords again. Now, as soon as you hit the five this time, then mute the strings and go play some 16th notes. Just down up with the strings muted with your left hand. OK? 
Okay, then we go back through the chords again. I'm still doing that little, little melody note with the pinky on the ninth fret on the first string. Just lifting it off. Then the same, basically just like the first time through it, with the same dyad things. Okay, so that whole little clean section. Okay, and we're going to end that solo section with a bunch of unison bends going up, starting at the ninth fret. That same unison bend, so I'm going to say ninth fret, I'm going to place where the first finger is going to be at, but it's that same unison bend we've done before. Then the eleventh fret, I'm sorry, twelfth fret now, so we got eleven, I mean, I'm sorry, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, and then sixteen. Okay, that takes us back to the last verse, or a chorus, or whatever you want to call it. Same chords though. And then the outro solo that goes on is going to start with the, um, these unison bends. So you start the unison bend with the ninth fret by picking and, and just kind of randomly picking across the two strings. Then do the same thing up here at the 11th fret. But he does go. He does that. I just kind of release it and then bring that note back up. So he does that little melody there. And then come back down to the nine again. Then we're going to start the. That's the exact same octaves run, uh, unison bend run that we did at the end of the, the, the solo we just finished. So it's the same. And he ends the song fading out with a big bend. At the 19th fret, just hold it. He does release it and bend it back. He doesn't really release it. He, he lets go and bends again. But just hold that note, a whole step bend. Just keep picking it and put some vibrato on it. And then the song fades out from there. Okay, so that's it for All on the Watchtower. Hope you guys have a lot of fun with it and you can play along with recording really soon. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.